washed away the sins, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, that by your blood I have victory in you. That by your blood I have confidence in your name. That by your blood one day at a time I can conquer that which is of this world. Hallelujah! No greater grace have I found but within you, Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands and give it a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Yeah, indeed, a notable miracle has been done by them. It's manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. Acts 4.20 says, For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Everyone repeat after me. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Let us begin to pray. For that indeed, a notable miracle has been done by them. It's manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. For we cannot but speak the things which you have seen and heard. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Let notable miracles begin with me. Let notable miracles begin inside possibility. Let notable miracles begin at work. Let it begin, whether it be at home, whether it be in my room. Let notable miracles begin to follow me for the rest of my days. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Holy Spirit, begin notable testimonies and possibility ministries. For that indeed, a notable miracle has been done by them. It's manifest to them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Let notable miracles begin with me in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. In Jesus' name. Acts 4, verse 16 and 20. For that is notable signs has been performed through them is evident to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem and we cannot deny it for we cannot but speak of what we have seen and heard Holy Spirit begin notable miracles and possibility ministries Holy Spirit begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Open up your mouth and let us begin to pray. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Such miracles that we cannot deny the things that we have seen or which we have heard. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. 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 Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles. Holy Spirit, begin notable breakthroughs here in the midst of possibility ministries. Holy Spirit, begin notable miracles and possibility ministries. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name.
Father, we come before you tonight as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. We are holy because of your blood made us holy. We say thank you because we can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy in time of need. Not because we're perfect, but because of your blood. Your blood has given us access to the throne. And we say thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 37 and 31, please. Isaiah 37, 31. And the remnant who have escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. And another version say, meanwhile, the remnant of the house of Judah that had escaped will again take root downward and bear fruit upward. What is the Lord telling us tonight? This is a season. It's a season of a kind. War. Gas price is going rock high. You will see sign of now ironing. But for you go there, people are not working. Integrity is losing its name because even company cannot back up what they have said. It's either one thing or the other. But God is saying, the remnant, the remnant who have escaped from the decadence, the house of possibility, we shall take root where downward and bear fruit where upward upward is where we need to be when you're talking about taking root downward it's talking about settlement stability being on the strong foundation that can never be shaken and that foundation is jesus christ when you are settled with that rock the rock of ages the one that never put anybody to shame devil is the one putting us to shame he wants to disgrace us, but this one is saying you can take root in me. You can take root in me. You can be settled in me. You can rest in me. And after you do that, you begin to bear fruit. And your fruit will remain in the mighty name of Jesus. And our prayer here is, Lord, let me take root downward in you. Let me take my root in you. Let me take my rest in you. Let me find myself in you. So that I can bear fruit to the glory and honor of your name. If that is your heart desire, please open up your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, based on your word, you said the remnant will return. I am one of those people, Lord. I will take root downward in you. I will find myself in you. I will take my root in you. I will find my rest in you. I will be complete in you. I'll take root downward and I'll bear fruit upward and my, my fruit shall remain in the mighty name. Only in you can I bear fruit. Without you, we are nothing. As a church, without you, we are nothing. You said in the book of John 15 and 5, without you, we are nothing. But when we bear fruit, our fruit will remain because we stay with you. Let it be the portion of your children as they are crying out to you tonight. 
that they will take root downward in you and bear fruit upward. We say thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Isaiah 51 and 11, please. And he's talking to us again. He said, therefore. And when you see the word therefore, what is the therefore? <laughs> Amen. The redeem of the Lord shall return. I shall return. I come and I will come with singing. Unto possibility. And everlasting joy shall be upon my head. And I shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. You hearing so much going on around us but God is saying in the book of Malachi I believe 4 and 2 that I will put difference between those who serve me and the ones that they don't serve me. Even at this time, as people are saying, the weather today was so hot, but I have to, I need some stuff that I need to do outside the shop. So I have to remind myself what the word of the Lord say, which say, the sun shall not smite me, or the moon, okay, everlasting joy will be mine. So as soon as I remind myself that, my body reprogram itself to enjoy that summer. And I was able to go. We got everything done. And we came back in. So things will be going on. You will be hearing oh, the sun will be this hard. You will be that hard. Before they tell us what it's going to be, the Bible already tells us what is ours is going to be. The sun would not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. If God say it, that is what I'm going to hold on to. And as you begin to tell yourself, this is what the word of the Lord say. Because you are made by the word of God. Before you know it, your body will conform to what God said. Because your body was made by the word of God. Amen? Amen? So God is telling us in number 11 that we shall return. We're singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon our head. We shall obtain gladness and joy. Sorrow and mourning shall flee away from us. If this is what we want, Let's go before God. This is our month of Thanksgiving. And God is telling us what he wants us to see. For some of us that we are thinking God has not done us good. So when joy and gladness is upon your head, then you'll be able to say, God has done me good. If this is what your heart desire, please repeat after me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I shall return. With singing, everlasting joy. Do you see that word? It's everlasting. When people are mourning and crying, you will be able to give them joy. You will be able to comfort them. Because everlasting joy is upon your head. They won't know why you are able to do what you are doing. But you know why you are doing it. Because everlasting joy, the one with no expiration date, is upon your head. I shall return with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon my head. I shall obtain gladness and joy. Sorrow and mourning shall flee away from me. Let's begin to pray.
thank you, Father. Let's begin to thank God because he heard us and he has answered our prayer. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. On Sunday and this month, this month is declared as a month of what? Open heaven slash praise. And your praise will cause your heaven to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Your praise will cause your heaven to open up this month in the mighty name of Jesus. The song that we sang earlier, it was talking about the Lion of Judah as what? Prevail. And what does Judah mean based on Sunday service? Judah means praise. And Jesus Christ is the tribe of the Lion of Judah. So if he is our brother, and he's not ashamed to call us brethren, that means when God was making him the firstborn, all of us were in his loin. As long as you give your life to Christ, you are part of the household of faith. As long as you give your life to Christ, you are part of the household of faith. And when they were singing that song, he said, the tribe of the Lion of Judah has prevailed. What does the word prevail mean? You are proof more powerful, more than you can ever think about. Not because you lift weight or nothing, but because you connected to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The, the tribe of the Lion of Judah, which is Jesus Christ, prove more powerful than opposing forces. You are proving more powerful than the one that is opposing you. Whatever that issue is, if you can't sleep at night, God is telling you you are more powerful than the thing that is causing you not to sleep. If your emotion is always up and down, God is telling you tonight because you connected to the one that has prevailed, which is Jesus Christ, you are more powerful than the forces opposing you. You are victorious. You are what? Victorious. You are a winner. Yes. You win out and you win through. You triumph. You are the victor. You gain victory on every side. You come out ahead. You come out on top. You are succeeded. You prove superior. You are conquer. You are an overcomer. You gain mystery and masteries. You gain ascendancy. You are wearing a crown. You are a ruler. You reign. You are widespread in a particular area at a particular time. You are current in all what you do. Noiseless breakthrough, but undeniable breakthrough is your portion. You don't have to make noise. You don't have to ask, oh, did you see me doing this? You don't have to tweet me. You don't have to taunt me. You don't have to TikTok me or talk talk me. You are making waves on every side because of the one that you connected to. You are able to walk with your shoulder high. You walk like you own it because your heavenly father owned everything. Whatever he owns, you are part of the owner. Amen? Why? Because you are representing him here on heart. When you are able to do this, how are you able to do this? A lifestyle of praise. When your life becomes a lifestyle of praise, even when things are not enough, you are able to say, Father, I thank you because you always heard me. Pastor was telling us on Sunday, you woke up with a backache, at least you woke up. Father, I thank you because I'm up and on my feet. Your body will always want to tell you something else. But you have to tell your body, shut up. I am made in image of God. Nothing is wrong with me. 
your body will be telling you, you know you're lying. You say, no, you are the one lying because I know. Over 2,000 years ago, my own stuff is set to. When you live a lifestyle of praise, you will see breakthrough on every side. You will see your emotional, you are stable. Financially, you're not struggling. You don't have to beg anybody to do anything because you cry to the one that can do it for you. And the heart of the king belongs unto God. Like a river, of water, it directs you wherever you please. All you need to do is cry to God. And God knows how to move the heart of people. And when they do you a favor, they feel privileged to do it. Not because you cut them in the corner that they have to do it because you're always manipulating the conniving people. Uh uh. When they do it, they see it as privilege. When I come to work, when I do hair, some tip done, some don't tip. I just appreciate that they're able to find me in this small room. And God sent them my way. And God put word in my mouth that I need to speak to them in due season. As you take the challenge and say, God, let me be a vessel unto honor. Wherever you send me, I will go. Whatever you want me to speak, I will speak. I'm hearing what if I speak wrongly. God will back you up. God will back you up. God is even helping me in my texting. So I won't text wrongly. And I'm not talking about English wise. So I won't come too strong. But people will see the, 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 the genuine of my heart. Like, okay, this is what he meant. This is what she meant. God is willing. Because he is the one that we are representing. And I pray for you tonight that in the mighty name of Jesus, as you represent him, you will not fail him in the mighty name of Jesus. As you represent him in workplaces, in family garden, in friend garden, you will be able to open your mouth wide and declare that God goodness without keeping anything back. You don't want them to know that you go to church or you don't want them to know that you are Christian because you yourself don't even know what it means to be a Christian. But I pray for you tonight, both online and on ground, the boldness to be able to declare God alone. Receive it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. God is saying, the work that I do, you will do also. Greater work than this will you do because I go to the Father. When you see the sick, the passion to want to lay hand on the sick and heal them, you are not the one healing. The power of God will flow through you and heal those people. The boldness to do it, receive it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's sing this song as they were playing it. And as we wrap up. Does that convince you? I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. I know good and well I'm not. To receive the kind of love that you I don't think men will pick me if they were picking people to do anything good.
mighty creator, the creator of heaven and earth. Possible, uh huh. I could never sing your song. Does, who does more people? of God's mercy, he has chosen me. See, when you see me dance like I lost my mind, because I know good and well that I am not qualified to have the kind of children that I have, to have the kind of wife that I have, to have the kind of people that God has surrounded me truly to. I kid you not. For him to actually choose me to become a pastor, I mean, it's still an amazing journey. Because I won't pick myself. How about that? Because I know my temperament. But I've come to a conclusion <laughs> that God has run out of option for him to have to default back to me. Like, oh well. And I keep saying no. He keeps saying, no, you're going to come back to it. As much as try to run away to go to uh, uh, where did God want to send uh, Jonah? Nineveh. It's, it keeps bringing me back. I'd like for you to be excited. You are in the midst of a wonderful season. Mm. Some people will not see it. They are in it, but they cannot see it. And that's why what you are hearing should translate your mind into an arena where you can believe. You are in a special season. You are in a special season. Things will work for you. It might not work for everybody, but it will work for you. This is not a campaign. This is God's work. This is, I've, I, I was inspired myself when I was in that cage over there. And that's why I was screaming. I was, I was hoping someone would join me. I, I don't know if they do. My ears was blocked up, you know, so I can only hear myself getting excited. Because I know we are in a strange but undeniable season. Notable miracles. Now the question is, are you ready? Because something can be notable, but you can choose to ignore it. Please, don't ignore it. Every baby step, 
every step of the way, celebrate him. Your celebration is the down payment for more. Your celebration. So don't come to church looking tired. If you are tired, speak to your soul. Please. Because that's the only way you can be in the midst of it and be part of it. Otherwise, you can be in the midst of it and not be a part of what is going on in the place. When I'm talking about what is going on, the celebration. Put that, thank you. He said, look at this word. Therefore, therefore, I've said it over and again, that when a judge says, therefore, the judge means what? In conclusion. Therefore, the redeemed, if you are truly being redeemed, if you are being, if you are born again, there is a difference. Somebody say, there is a difference. How can sons and daughters of God be walking around and there's no difference? This is the time. That's why we are in a strange time. This is the time that there will be a difference. Write today's date down. You are hearing it from God. I'm not that God that you're, um, you're probably referring to. But God is talking right now to you. There will be a difference. I will set things apart for my children, says the Lord. I will make things happen for my children, says the Lord. I will overturn the judgment that is meant to destabilize my children. I will be their God. They are my children. And I will do great things in their midst. In Jesus' name. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall do what? It is a natural thing for them to always return. Woo! And it's not a returning of sadness. It is prevalent that when they go out, they come in. It is prevalent that they, when they work, they earn. That anything they lay their hands to do, they that is why they will return, not get lost. Uh, that's why you will return, not get lost in the things that is happening in the world. Because you have been consecrated, you have been set aside. There's no bamboozle over here. You are going to return with testimony in the name of Jesus. As you begin to give God praise. You will be raised in the name of Jesus Christ. As you give God his, you will be able to keep yours in the name of Jesus. You know, the reason why God wants you to celebrate is to give him glory. He said, when the Lord turn, when the Lord turn, I'm not sure how many people God is turning so far tonight. When the Lord turned the captivity of possibility, it sounds and it looks like a dream. Their mouth is filled with laughter. And it will take your neighbors. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Are you my neighbor? He said, it will make the neighbors to say, the Lord has done great things for you. They don't know, but they will acknowledge that God has done great things for them. Because your status begins to change. Your status begins to change. I say your status begins to change. And it is to the acknowledgement of your neighbor to say, the Lord is the one that has done great things. God must have done great things for them. That's the reason for the return. He said, then they shall, you shall return. And discern between the righteous and the wicked. Do you know another definition for wicked? We always think wicked is because you do wicked things. Unbelief is wickedness. Unbelief is what? What did I say again? Say it three times. 
Unbelief in what? Unbelief in what Christ has said. The price that was paid for your redemption. The price that was paid for you to return. It's one thing to go out. It's another thing to return. Everybody leaves the house in the morning. Does everybody return? No. Some return to the hospital and never return back home. Some on their way back home return to the grave, back to where they came from. Only a few. And you are one of them. And that's the reason why you should praise him. That's the reason why you give him thanks. Don't let your face, your countenance, show that something is bothering you. You are beyond that realm. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Talk to yourself, especially when you are coming to the house of God. Don't make it look like a chore. He said, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why are you disquieted within you? What's wrong with you, heart? Fix yourself. It takes you talking to your mind. Say, mind, behave. I'm going to the house of the Lord. It, it's not even that you are coming here to, to church. It's because you are coming to the presence of God. And there's a protocol. And the protocol determine, the protocol does what? Gives you the access. You can break protocol and go to the king or to the palace or to, uh, to the governor. There is always a protocol. There is always protocol everywhere you are going to ascend. You just don't go to your CEO's office, even if you know him. It's impossible. The protocol is for us to praise and to thank him. Your face is what depicts if you are truly praising him, you know? Because in the midst of chaos, you still have your joy. In the midst of things not working right, you still have your joy. That's the emblem of a child of God. I said on Sunday, if joy has left you, check yourself, you are still a Christian. If joy is not in your life, Check your spiritual antenna. What did I say again? I'm not talking about smiling, laughing. I'm talking about your countenance. Because joy tells you that even in the midst of whatever you are going through, there's an end to that road. So you are living a living hope. Living what? A living hope is in you. And so when you don't seem to be faced by what is going on, not that you are in denial of what is going on, because faith does not deny the obvious. It just says in spite of the obvious, there's a way out. That is what faith is. Faith, repeat after me, faith does not deny the obvious. It says, in spite of the obvious, there's an end to it. And Christ is the end of the law to them that believe. I'd like for you to change your countenance. Change the way you look. The way you look reflects the way you behave. You can't hide it. It's like smoke or steam. As much as you try to cover it, it will find a way out. So when people see you from afar, even when they are, you are not watching and you don't know, are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? When you don't know that someone is watching, your countenance then is what gives you out. Stop, ask, don't, stop letting people ask you, is there anything wrong with you? The joy of the Lord. Ye shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serve God. Hello? Did he say between him that come to church and does not? The ones that serve God. So it's in service that God begins to distinguish you. It's in service. When I, I, service does not mean coming to church. 
It means what? What a service means. Well, yeah. Tithe, offering, doing. Being involved so that things can evolve. In service. In service. Not coming to church. Coming to church is not service. Coming to church is not. It is what your state of mind is and what you do when you come or when you don't come. You are in service. Don't mind the devil. The reason why he's up against what is going on in your life is because you are in service. And I pray that tonight, as the word has said in Isaiah chapter 51, put that back as we stand to our feet. I'd like for you to rejoice in spite of whatever might be going on. You are not going to be affected. I said you are not going to be affected. I didn't say that God said that. God wants me to tell you, you are not going to be affected. affected. Get ready to praise God. Therefore, the redeemer of the Lord shall and come with. That is the package that you have. You are coming back with singing, not frowning, not confused. You can't wait to share your testimony. Because the world wants to hear that God is still alive in the midst of all these things. I've told you, get ready. It's only going to get excited. Therefore, the redeem of the Lord shall return and they shall come with singing unto possibility ministry and everlasting joy. You see that again? Shall be upon their they shall do what? Somebody say, I will obtain. Say it to yourself. What will depart from your life? Is that what your experiences will be? Memorize this. As I'm going out today, as I'm waking up, therefore, because I am the redeemed of the Lord, I will return with singing. I will return into singing unto possibility. And everlasting joy shall be upon my head. I will obtain gladness and sorrow. Morning shall flee. Memorize this. Isaiah chapter. Isaiah 50. Isaiah 50, Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever. You want to wrap it up? Thank you all for joining us online. We're so glad that you were a part of the message of possibility. We hope that you'll join us on Friday at 7 p.m. Thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.